Hello and welcome back to the PSD Touch Plus shortcut series. I'm Martin Perhiniak and today we are going to finish our mini series about the retouch tools. The last thing we haven't talked about is the content aware features in Photoshop. Now some of these you might not find in previous versions, like CS3 you won't have any content aware features, but if you use later versions like CS4, 5 or 6, you will be able to use these options and I'm sure you will find them useful. So first of all, what can we do with these tools? They can save time for us and make retouching details in images much faster. So basically it's like an automatic retouch option. My favorite one is the content aware fill. Now I would like to fill in this area and get rid of the girl sitting here. But before doing that, let me show you something which is uh, only in CS6 is the content aware move tool, which is also an interesting option. If I make a quick selection, just a very simple selection around the girl like this and select this tool called the content aware move tool, I can click on her and drag her here on the right and Photoshop will do the calculation and move her completely and at the same time get rid of her from that selected area. So this is a very interesting option and it can also work with sample or layers option. So if we create a new layer and call that retouch, okay, and use the same tool and make a selection, first of all, it can also make a selection, by the way, if you don't have any selections, uh, the content aware move tool will make a selection for you. So I can make a quick, like a lasso selection and then drag her around but make sure that the sample all layers is turned on. And once I drag her to the right, it will work, but now it works completely non-destructively on a separate layer, so I can turn it on and off. So that is quite useful, but what if we want to get rid of her completely? Now in that case, we can again make a selection. Let me just make a selection again, just a very simple selection like this, okay? And if I press backspace, because we have a background layer, we will get the fill options. Here I can choose content aware, okay? And then I click on okay, and you can see that it retouched it really well. So the details, let's see before and after, okay? But we can also make this on a separate layer. Now the only problem with the uh, fill options, it will only work if we duplicate our layer. So let me just select it, duplicate it, okay? Make the selection. I'm going to use a lasso selection in this case. Make a selection of the girl, something like that, okay? And uh, use the content aware fill. In this case, I need to press shift backspace because now we have two layers. So I press shift backspace, click on OK. And that's what we got from content aware field. To tell the truth, it's not as good as before. As you can see here in the background, it didn't work really well. So let me just make a different selection. Sometimes when your selection is not right, maybe it was a bit too big, or the shape wasn't uh, good to use for our uh, content aware field. In those cases, it's better to create a new selection. So again, shift backspace content aware field. And again, we have a problem. Now, what can we do in this case? It can be very annoying when you try to save time and you actually just waste time using uh, like the content aware features. So what can we do in this case? Before making my selection on this duplicate layer, I am going to also create a mask. So I will tell Photoshop that this part of the image is useful to create the uh, retouch, the automatic retouch. So it won't use anything else from the image. So I click on masking this out, okay? And I can turn off the other layer for now. Then I select the image itself. So make sure you don't have the mask selected, the image, and use again the lasso tool to make a selection. Okay, something like that. And then I press Shift Backspace and OK. And now it, it is much better. So you can see even the bricks are OK, they are aligned and the, the pond is perfect. So now if I turn back the background layer, then we can see we did the content aware field non-destructively on a separate layer. So that is a very useful option, okay? And if you want, you can 
apply this mask so you don't have the whole layer there but if you want to keep it completely non-destructive you just simply keep it like this and this is what you will call uh, the retouch layer okay or you can call it fill or content aware fill so that's the way you can work with this tool and I can tell you if you start using the same procedure you can save a lot of time so sometimes when you would retouch something manually using the tools that we discussed in previous episodes with this uh, workflow you can save a lot of time maybe you won't be able to do everything uh, like not 100% perfect but you will get to 95% in a couple of clicks and then after that the rest 5% you can use the manual retouch tools before I finish though I have one more option which I wanted to show you and that's the content aware scale in this case I am going to double click on the background layer just to turn it into a normal layer and I am going to use uh, my crop tool so I select the crop tool and I am going to turn this image into a panoramic image so I just drag it out and from a landscape format I want to create a panoramic version okay so I have the edit free transform option selected and I am going to drag it out now the only problem it looks panoramic but it's obvious that the image has been stretched even without the dogs I would be able to tell it's stretched because the trees looks funny as well so if I go back and now I choose another option the content aware scale which was introduced in CS4 so if you have that version you will already be able to use this then you can see what happens now the whole image is like an accordion and Photoshop tries to keep everything uh, the details correctly like the dogs automatically and even the standout trees and make the stretch as believable as possible so that's what's before and this is after it still looks fine of course there will be some parts where Photoshop had to stretch the image like here you can see here you can see the, the the effect of the stretching now you can always draw over the most obvious parts like let's just say here I can always have a separate layer call that retouch and then I just use my brush tool and I just draw over these most obvious parts okay so where you can see the stretching effect like here as well I can just draw over that stretch parts and make it a bit more believable also here at the bottom we can use parts of the original grass and draw over where it's too obvious that we used a uh, content aware scale but once you add a bit of manual retouching to it here as well we can see the scaling or the stretching effect so once you add some um, correction with manual retouching it will look much more believable let me just sample from there so once you work a little bit on it it will look much better and you can actually get away with a huge scale like this and make it look believable so let me just go back to the original image by going to file and choose revert so that was before and this is after before and after so content aware fill content aware move and content aware scale and there's one more area where we have content aware options and that is uh, the tools like the spot healing brush tool has the content aware feature for sampling and you also have that option for the patch tool where you can change the patch to content aware I haven't talked about the patch tool but I can show you how it works I also have the sample all layers option for it and I can make a selection of this part here and I can drag over another part of the image and just patch it out like that it's almost like the content aware fill or combining with the content aware move tool it's just another way of doing the same thing so I hope you learn new things about retouching images in this mini series and that's all what I wanted to cover in the shortcut series in the next episode I am going to talk about a completely non-destructive workflow how to get rid of the original background of a photo and replace it with something else thanks a lot for your attention and hope to see you next time